What's up you guys? My name is Jamie and today I'm gonna get a little bit serious. Uh, I'm not normally going to be doing videos like this, but cards on the table. I, I just, I feel like I have to. Uh, obviously this video isn't makeup related, <laughs> um, but it's very important to me. So the day this video goes up is October 11th on a Tuesday, and today is National Coming Out Day. It is a very, very important day for the LGBT community. Um, I fully, fully understand and believe that now. Um, this is by no means uh, a coming out video for me. I am a bisexual, but I've been out for years now. This video is going to be about my story and how I've gotten to where I am today with who I am and who I surround myself with. So I wanna start off with the obvious. Yes, I was born this way. I have been bisexual ever since I looked at a boy and thought, ooh, he's kinda cute, and then looked at the girl sitting next to him and said, oh, she's cute too. I'm gonna give you a brief summary of what it was like when I grew up. Around around second grade is when I had my first crush and it was on a boy and then I had another crush on a girl that I was friends with. Uh, she was one of my good friends and I just, I thought she was great and I thought she was so pretty and I had just the biggest crush on her ever. Uh, and I never said anything because it just, I noticed that girls weren't feeling the same way. They were pining after the boys in the playground and, you know, it wasn't really this thing. So I never really said anything and I just let it go and I don't regret it. It's fine. <laughs> so around third grade is when I really started to know that I was in fact bisexual. Uh, I don't think I think it was around fifth or sixth grade when I first heard the term bisexual and then I was like, oh, that's me. But I knew around third grade that I liked boys and girls the same way that, you know, straight people like just the opposite sex. I was surrounded by people from the gay community because of what my mom did. She was a beautician and it made knowing that you could like the same sex, you know, it made it normal for me. Uh, and I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> my mom is very accepting, so is my dad. I'll get into that later. But um, yeah, I, I just, when I realized I like girls, I didn't think too much of it. I wasn't worried. I wasn't like, oh my God, like people are gonna hate me and people are gonna worry and people are gonna be freaked out and all that kind of stuff. I just, from a very young age, was just like, okay, that's what I am, um, cool. I I did make it a point to not really make it known. I wasn't hiding who I was. I wasn't scared of people finding out. I just, it was too normal for me and it didn't scare me. It didn't worry me. So I didn't think that it was necessary for me to shout it from the rooftops and like introduce myself as a little kid that was like, I like girls and boys. I just didn't think it was necessary, so I didn't do it. I just lived my life. I had friends and I moved on. Around fifth grade, I believe, is when I had my first girlfriend. She was my friend beforehand. We were really good friends and then we kind of were just like, hey, we're gonna start dating. We weren't doing anything. We were just girlfriend and girlfriend and it lasted for maybe a couple months and then she realized that she didn't like girls and she didn't feel about me that way. Um, moving on, jumping ahead to the summer between eighth and ninth grade and like ninth grade just as a whole, I had another girlfriend. I don't really know what you want to call her. We were really good friends and she and I, we didn't date. We just kind of like kissed all the time, I guess. I don't know. It sounds so weird. Like we didn't like... <laughs> We didn't like fool around or anything, you know, and I, I had a group of friends that looking back on it now like, I'm pretty sure about 90% of the people I hung out with besides my two best friends who love me and accept me and they don't care that I'm bi um, 
the group of friends I hung out with in high school were pretty much all bisexual. And I think, I think one or two of them were lesbians or are lesbians. I'm not entirely sure, but I mean, that was the first time that I was just, it didn't matter. But with that group of friends that I had, other than them, it was the first time that I had felt like, oh, cool, like it doesn't, and it doesn't matter that I like girls or boys or whatever, like I can just, you know, I can just be me, if that makes sense. You know, moving ahead, I didn't really date throughout high school. I was catfished, but that's a whole different video, which I could make because it's pretty funny. I was very fortunate growing up that I, I wasn't surrounded by people that didn't believe in bisexuals or believe that gay people were actually gay and, you know, so on and so forth. So, like I said, when I was younger, I looked at what I was and said, I'm normal. It doesn't matter. So why should I have to tell people? Now, I never cared. I was never against people coming out of the closet. Um, I've always been very supportive of that. I think that that's great. Uh, I was never against it. I just, for me, I didn't feel like it was necessary. And I think in my mind, it was kind of like a rebelling against uh, the people that don't find being a different sexual orientation other than just straight, uh, when they don't find it normal. It was my way of making it normal by not having to say, because you don't walk up to somebody and ask if they're straight. You don't care if they're straight. So why did it matter if people knew that I wasn't straight? Rarely told people. If they asked, I said yes. And I told them I was bi, whatever. I didn't care. I wasn't shy about talking about it or telling people I was, but I didn't see the point in me going out of my way to tell people. I didn't think it was necessary to walk into a room and say, just so everybody knows, I'm bi. If anybody has a problem with that, you can leave. That's not who I am. That's not how I ever was. So I have been very casual, like I said, about me being bisexual. I'm not scared to talk about it or bring it up or whatever. I just never had a formal coming out. I didn't sit my family down at the dinner table on Thanksgiving and say, oh, by the way, everybody, I'm sorry, but I have to tell you something and then profess it. Like, I uh, profess? Whatever. I didn't care. I, I was me. If somebody asked, I would tell them. It seemed simple and it seemed logical. So I have been on social media since like 2008. I don't even remember. Um, but I've always been very open about it. Uh, and I've made a couple posts on my Facebook about it very casually, just kind of, yeah, <laughs> I post I post about being bisexual all the time. So last year, I made an offhand comment about just something about being bisexual. It doesn't matter what the context was or whatever, but I did have a family member, no names, doesn't matter who they are, you guys don't care, um, and the people that know already know who it is, um, was not happy with me. Um, this person in particular, you know, they were trying to publicly shame me for not coming out prior to just making a Facebook post about it. Um, and uh, my, my favorite thing that people would say is, and a lot of people that were on her side um, felt that they didn't care that I was bi, but they cared that I didn't tell them. What? <laughs> when the thing on Facebook happened with a member of my family, um, it was very big. I had lots of people um, that I knew from high school and that I knew and that were friends and family and stuff like that. They all hopped in and they all backed me up. But one thing was that that family member and a couple other people um, thought I was the, the wrongdoer. 
in this situation. They thought that I was wrong for not coming out the way that they think I should have. What I did was not right. It was not meant for Facebook. I wasn't being inappropriate. Um, uh, they questioned me about how, you know, I wasn't thinking of my younger cousins that may see it. And I wasn't wrong. <laughs> um, even if I feel thankful in the long run for what happened, because now I know who I don't want in my life, family or not, um, I was not wrong. Uh, I chose to talk about myself the way that I did, and I don't regret it. And I, you know, I, I wouldn't go back and come out to everybody. I wouldn't have that sit down talk with people because that's not how I chose to go about my business. And, um, you know, and then they thought, well, yeah, it's your business. It's not meant for everybody in the world to know. So why wouldn't you tell us? Why would you just casually put it on Facebook? That's inappropriate to put it on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. I felt ostracized. Um, you know, I, I had a moment afterwards where I didn't talk to a lot of members of my family. Um, they didn't talk to me. No one, a lot of people didn't come to me to find out if I was okay. They didn't talk to me about it, and I still haven't talked to a lot of them about it. Um, I'm no longer mad at them, um, but I was extremely hurt during the situation, and it was a wake-up call that I can't treat what I am as something normal anymore. But making sure people know who I am is important. You know, I I felt like I had to apologize when that stuff happened on Facebook with my family and uh, I never did. I never apologized and I never will because I had nothing to apologize for. I don't have anything to apologize for. But having that feeling of guilt pushed on me where members of my own family who I love, side note, I love my family. I'm not trying to paint them as the bad picture here. It's just a couple, it's only like a couple members, one in particular, but having that feeling that I had to apologize for being myself is one of the worst feelings I've ever had. Never apologize for who you are and never feel guilty for what you do and who you are, what you are. It's absolute bullshit that people think that you should live your life the way that they feel is best. You know, I, I found my reason for why I think coming out is important. And that's to get rid of the negativity that, you know, you may have. Ignorance is not bliss in this case, for me personally. Um, but no matter what your reasoning is, No matter what your personal reason is, it's important. And coming out is important. Uh, no one should ever pressure you into coming out. Nobody should take that away from you. Nobody should do it for you, whatever. But coming out is important. You know, Um, my, my way of thinking when I was younger 
wasn't right, thinking that by not saying something, I'm somehow making it normal. It's the complete opposite. By having a voice and using it to make people aware how many of us there are, and that we matter is important. <laughs> There are strength in numbers, and by coming out whenever you choose to do it, however you choose to do it, it matters. You matter. You know, we win. <clears throat> we, as the LGBTQ community, have won battles. We've lost battles. <laughs> you know, uh, marriage equality was huge, but... The fight is not over at all. <laughs> Coming out is important for several different reasons. Making people aware that there are many people in the world that are just like you and I, whatever. You know, there are still people in this world, in today's society, that think that all of this is somehow a choice. That, you know, one day I decided to wake up and be persecuted against because of who I want to be. That's a reason why it's important to come out. Because those people are wrong, and they need to know that. No matter how many people have to come out to do it. June 12th of 2016 is... <laughs> June 12th, 2016 is a great example <laughs> as to why coming out matters. <sighs> I don't have any tissues. <laughs> I have to use paper towel. <sighs> June 12th, 2016 is a very big prime example as to why coming out is important. It is people like the shooter that night that need to be educated. You know, there have been speculation or maybe it's real that he was gay, but because of his upbringing, he thought it was wrong and he took it out on other people that were proud to be who they are. By coming out, we're giving people that feel like they don't belong a voice. In today's society, we had a very large group of people murdered and injured and attacked because of who they are. But it's a reason to be proud of who you are. That is a reason to be proud of who you are. Don't hide because you're scared of some person that's misinformed or feels like they don't belong or whatever. <clears throat> there is a song from a Broadway play, a play um, that one of my, that one of my favorite, that my favorite movie of all time is based off of, which is The Birdcage, by the way. Um, and that is La Cage aux Folles. And um, there's a song in that show called I Am What I Am. <laughs> and um, it's, it's a very powerful song. Um, I'll probably have a video of the song linked below. Uh, if you're curious to listen to it, I highly recommend that you do. Um, but <clears throat> one of the lines in the song is, it's my world that I want to take a little pride in. My world, and it's not a place to hide in. Life's not worth a damn till you can shout out, 
hey world, I am what I am. And those are words to live by. <laughs> I may be insignificant. This video might not even reach anybody that needs it <laughs> um, or cares, but I feel that it's my job as somebody who's out and proud to tell you guys that you matter. <laughs> oh, that was an ugly cry. <laughs> I'm here to let you guys know that you matter. You matter, you matter so much. And don't ever, ever let anybody tell you otherwise. Because they're bullshit. Everything out there that says that you aren't who you are and you're making it up and you just want attention or you're a whore or... None of it matters. None of those people and those negative opinions matter. What matters is you being who you are and being happy and being proud and not being afraid. One of the best things about the LGBTQ community is that we're a family and no matter if you have a good family, you know, I've been very lucky my parents are very, very, very accepting of me and they don't care. My husband's parents are very accepting, they don't care. It doesn't matter if you have a good family, good friends, or you don't. You need to know that the LGBT community is here and I'm here. Be you and uh, be happy with who you are. Nobody. Nobody's opinion matters but you. I, uh, I hope that this has reached somebody and it's helped anybody, even just one person, I'll be happy. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed <clears throat> and uh, I will see you in the next video. But please remember, you're important. Happy National Coming Out Day, everybody.